Seek not to be like evil men, neither desire to be with them, because their minds studyeth robberies, and their lips speak deceit. Day three. Victim. You know, the misinterpreted word of them all. I've been misunderstood. Played to be an actor. No answers. Just you, sitting there in the mirror, pondering, pandering, wondering. Who the fuck am I? I get the whole impression was a hit and miss, but you can't fuck up someone's personality for a sense of courage. And what luck, you managed to make me whole inside. Carved out my entire heart with a fucking silver spoon and you don't get it. But lost souls always find a lost wing. Only then it will feel like Sunday. Blame me because I don't ask for you. Tread on the deep swampy side of the water and you'll understand why. No one's your victim. You're just weak. I'd rather not tell you my third chapter in a total riddle, but this is what's expected. People think they can't rant about their cries for help all the fucking time. And not decide to do the same they do for others. Nobody cares, they said. If you are listening to this, do you understand? that I'm the last of a generation. <sighs> Play the victim, moan the victim, cry the victim, bitch the victim. How far do you get with it? How far do you get? See, if there's one rule that I learned in Pomeranian, and it's a very strict rule, there's no such thing as friends, and there's no such thing as victims. You're either an ally or not. You're either long above and beyond or you're just a piece of shit on the sidewalk you see throughout my years in Palmerin there's no way in hell that I'm not a victim why well let me tell you why there's simple things there's simple things that I watch out for and that's their personality, their characteristics, the way that they f are an asshole to you, the way that they put themselves over others, the way that they put themselves over others. And the thing about that is, is that at the end of the day, they are the ones that win. And, and life is supposed to be fair for that. Life is supposed to be fair for the fact of people not understanding the definition of a victim. The, the definition of crying for help. The definition of crying for a friend to be there for them. Let's go back. Let's rewind. 2019. You want to know why? You want to know why this vlog series invent was invented in the first place? I'm not going to lie. It was because of Clayton. And it was because that he had to punch me in the face while I'm driving and then talk shit to his friends about it afterwards after he's saying sorry to me after I just dropped him off. Imagine that. And then when I speak about it, I'm not a victim. I'm not... I'm not worthy enough to have a friend to be there for me. I'm not worthy enough to have somebody to have my back. I'm not worthy enough for friends. And ever since that situation, I've never had a friend since. Palmerin has thought less of me. Palmerin has thought that 
I'm not good for anybody anymore. But over the years, I've created this so that people can realize how much of a victim you really fucking made me. It's not fate. It was just maybe out of ego. It was just maybe made out of the remains of me. Whatever I picked up of myself. But the fact of the matter is, is that I know I'm a victim. See, you take a meth head side. That's what makes me a victim. The entire town just decides to go to the meth head side. Everybody seems to go to his side because he think because everybody else thinks that he knows more than I do. Please stop the screaming. He's not a victim. He's a bitch. If you think a victim is somebody like him, you are dead wrong. <laughs> dead wrong. You are dead wrong. Why? Because look at this the, the look at the decisions that he made compared to mine. Fuck you. Compared to mine, fuck you. I'm a victim of my own brutality, and I get it. I'm a victim of my own mess. I'm a victim of my own catastrophes. I am the master of my own disasters. Yes, a lot of them have bit me in the ass. But this is not one of them. This is not a mistake. Because I want to point out everybody else's mistakes. Since everybody thinks, since everybody in Palmerton thinks that they are better than moi. See, a victim always wins. And they don't realize that. Look at this. Look at this channel and look at the amount. Look at the... Look at the plethora. Is this not a victim? Is this not what you think a victim is? Please. I'm part of the victimhood. Since day fucking one. And if everybody wants to sit there and tell me that I don't deserve success, that I don't deserve this, that I don't deserve to see the spotlight in front of me. If, I, if I'm not worthy to see that spotlight, what makes you guys think that you're so worthy of it too? Because last I checked, nobody, absolutely nobody can get on to my level. Absolutely nobody can catch up to me and to what I can do. I had a creative, non-egotistical, and let's not forget to mention the most uncensored shit that has ever landed God's green earth. I had the most creative, non-egotistical, and yet vile mindset on this. Because I wanted to. I'm a victim. Victims get to play. The victimhood understands. But they don't. Sad. Unfortunate, really. Not that many people want to remember my name. Not many, not many people want to remember me for the way I was. Not many people want to remember me as something that's changed. Because it's been five years already. If they haven't noticed, I've changed. If they haven't noticed, I've changed my ways completely. As a matter of fact, this is the most better version of Mike Dyson that they will ever get. And they, are with, and they are missing out on it, people. They are missing out on this, people. This is the real version of Mike Dyson. And they are missing out on it. And it's not my fault. Is it because of Bradley? Is it because of uh, the ex? Is it because of the ex-boyfriend that uh, comments on everything? Is it because I dated the sex offender? Is it be? Is it because I turned my ways? I don't know what it's. I don't know what it is. 
I don't know what it is about you guys, and I don't, and I never knew. But not many of them have stayed. Not many people from Pomerant are still on my Facebook. Not that many people want to remember me. Not many people want to be by my side. See, this is this is this the afterlife? Because I would have never had it any other way, quite honestly. But if I'm gonna be able to change my ways, if I'm gonna stop playing the victim, I I was hoping not all of at least some of them, at least some of them would witness it. And hopefully to be behind it. But now they're making me seem like the victim. And it's not that. I could be a victim. I am a victim. I'm the biggest damn victim. Out of everybody in this town. Whether if they want to forget it or not. I am the most. I am Palmerland's only fucking miscreant. And I will keep, and I will keep on saying that name. I am Palmerland's only fucking miscreant because I, I've been misunderstood time and time again. And you know what? I'm so sick and tired and I'm disgusted by my... I'm disgusted by everybody's pieces of mind that makes them think that they're so important. You're not a victim. You're just a bully. And you never realized that, did you? You're not a victim. Palmer, and you're not a victim. You're just acting like the victim. I'm actually part of the victimhood. Palmer, and you're not a victim. You're a casualty. You're a loser. You are the sufferer. And I am the sufferee. And after all these years of being pushed around, shoved around, slapped around, punched and punched in the face while driving and handcuffed to my own damn steering wheel, uh, yeah, I'm a victim. Of my own, I don't know, I guess my own doings. After all this shit, I'm done suffering. After all these years, I am done suffering. I'm done playing the victim, don't you see? Do you see your answers right in front of you, you stupid motherfuckers? I am a victim of your doings. And you think, for some reason, that this channel's not going to help me, this channel's not going to bring me success, this channel's not going to bring me shit. Don't worry. Palmerton, you've been a thorn in my fucking side since, oh, I don't know, 2013. You've been a thorn in my side ever since, and I've been waiting for this moment to put that period down. Put that last sentence down on you guys, because... I'm done. So you wondered why I got rid of all of you so quickly. I didn't mind getting rid of all of you. Why? Because where the hell were any of you... When I needed you the most, where the hell were you? Definitely not by my side. Definitely not on my side when I needed you. When I needed you the most when I was dealing with this bullshit with Clayton. You can punch me in the face for being the victim. But you can't punch him in the face for doing something stupid. You can't be on my side at least once. You expect me to be a man every single day, 24-7, 365 days of the week. Look at me. Look at me. Do I seem like the person that's this... Do I seem like the person that could be a rude, rude asshole? Do I look like the person that could put a PFA on somebody that quickly? And, not, and I'm not going to lie. I already did. But it came back to bite me in the ass. But that's not the point. Now I've done PFAs before. And I've done other things before. Why didn't I do it? Why didn't I do it on any of you? Because I don't care. I dealt with you guys all through high school. And you know what? 
If nobody's going to be by my side, if everybody's going to point the fingers at me for not being the victim, if nobody wants to think, if everybody wants to think that I'm not a victim, that I'm not part of the victimhood, you got something wrong. There's something wrong in this picture, and I'm not okay with it. So you can cry victim, bitch victim, moan victim, groan because I'm succeeding. It doesn't matter. Your judgment day was soon to be here. The end is near, and I'm going to watch it all fall. No matter where I am, no matter where the circumstances are, I'm going to watch it fall. I don't care what you guys think about me, and I don't care. I am a victim of your own doings. Where the hell were any of you when I needed you the most? So don't, 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 don't look at me and call me the biggest crybaby of them all, the biggest bitch on the planet. No, this isn't, this is what you expected, this is what you dreamed of. This was uncensored gold to Palmerton. This was uncensored gold to everybody that need somebody to relate to. And whether or not you guys don't want to accept that, that's on you. But don't. Don't give me those yeah buts. Don't give me those talks of being a bitch. Don't give me any of those talks. You None of you, absolutely none of you, know a damn thing about me. I hope you find this video well. <laughs> MDVil, this funked out. See you guys later.